A week ago, I took and passed the AWS Solutions Architect Professional Recertification Exam. I took it on the exact day my certification was set to expire. I believe it was at the actually the exact same time too. Yes, I cut it close, but I didn't do it on purpose. For whatever reason, I just did not keep track of the expiration date. I only became aware of it because I received an email from CertMetric notifying me with the subject, your AWS certification expires in one month. Yikes. Time flew by. I can't believe it's been three years since I last took an AWS exam. The great thing is that I still had my voucher from three years ago that let me take the exam at 50% off. That was another win and I'm glad I passed on the first try. Needless to say, this exam was brutal. I think it was harder now than it was three years ago, even though I now have three more years of experience. The AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional is known as one of the most difficult IT certifications to pass. In this video, I will explain why this exam is so difficult. I want to go over one question and one question only on the official AWS Solutions Architect Professional SAP C01 sample exam questions. This way I'm not breaking any rules and I don't risk losing my certification. But this question alone will show how insane this exam really is. I will read the questions and the answers and just keep track of the time. This is important because the exam is 180 minutes long and there are 75 questions. That gives you approximately 2.4 minutes per question. I used up all 180 minutes. I did not have time to go back and check the answers. Are you ready? Let's read the question. Question seven, a company has two AWS accounts, one for production workloads and one for development workloads. Creating and managing these workloads are a development team and an operations team. The company needs a security strategy that meets the following requirements. Developers need to create and delete development application infrastructure. Operators need to create and delete both development and production application infrastructure. Developers should have no access to production infrastructure. All users should have a single set of AWS credentials. What strategy meets these requirements? A. In the development account, create a development IAM group with the ability to create and delete application infrastructure. Create an IAM user for each operator and developer and assign them to the development group. In the production account, create an operations IAM group with the ability to create and delete application infrastructure. Create an IAM user for each operator and assign them to the operations group. Answer B. In the development account, create a development IAM group with the ability to create and delete application infrastructure. Create an IAM user for each developer and assign them to the development group. Create an IAM user for each operator and assign them to the development group and the operations group in the production account. In the production account, create an operations IAM group with the ability to create and delete application infrastructure. Option C. In the development account, create a shared IAM role with the ability to create and delete application infrastructure in the production account. Create a development IAM group with the ability to create and delete application infrastructure. Create an operations IAM group with the ability to assume the shared role. Create an IAM user for each developer and assign them to the development group. Create an IAM user for each operator and assign them to the development group and the operations group. Option D. In the development account, 
create a development IAM group with the ability to create and delete application infrastructure. Create an operations IAM group with the ability to assume the shared role in the production account. Create an IAM user for each developer and assign them to the development group. Create an IAM user for each operator and assign them to the development group and the operations group. In the production account, Create a shared IAM role with the ability to create and delete application infrastructure. Add the development account to the trust policy for the shared role. Now, how long did that take? It took approximately three minutes to read the question and all of the options. They did a great job in obscuring the answer by inserting very important details in places where you probably wouldn't be looking. In addition, you have to look at the question carefully and understand the requirements. If you know how AWS works, then you would be looking for something very specific. When I read this question, I automatically think of roles because one of the requirements is all users should have a single set of AWS credentials. So any option with multiple credentials is wrong and you can discard any option that doesn't use roles. So we are left with two options, C and D. AWS provides the answers at the end of the document. Let's read the official response. D is the correct answer. This is the only response that will work and meets the requirements. It follows the standard guidelines. Now, what are the standard guidelines? There's a document, there's a link there for you to read. And it continues. It follows the standard guidelines for granting cross-account access between two accounts that you control. A requires two sets of credentials for operators, which breaks the requirements. B will not work, as an IAM user cannot be added to an IAM group in a different account. C will not work, as a role cannot grant access to resources in another account. The shared role must be in the account with the resources it manages. In a future video, I will go over more details about the exam experience. But for now, I, I want to stress that practice exams are only useful when you review all the documentation provided. If you don't take your time to read this link for this specific question, then it will be very hard to understand the question. The question is not really that hard, but it is so lengthy that you are running against the clock. And I had many questions that were of similar length. It was just ridiculous. One other tip I can give you is you should also take the time to recreate this scenario in your own AWS accounts and not just with the working answer. Try to create it with all the options given and see if you can or cannot do what is stated. In a future video, I will go over a few more details about my exam experience. Stay tuned. <laughs>